Hello, my golfing friends. My name is Mike DeRow, and welcome to the Golfer's Report. In this series of videos, we will help you improve your golf game, gain more confidence, and have a little more fun in this game of a lifetime. Hello, my golfing friends. Mike DeRow here in beautiful Naples, Florida, but specifically my lady golfers who are watching. Okay, I've been teaching lady golfers, beginners, all levels for 40 years. What do I see that I think I can help you with? Well, mostly it's a collapsing arm situation here, and then the arms try to hit a ball, they throw out there, and then they get small over here, collapsed again. So they have no extension. Now extension shouldn't be stiffness or anything like that. It's really that this weighted object, if you can get it to swing wide over here, what is wide? It's called arc width. It's the distance from your hands to your chest. So if you can swing wider, it'll drop better and it, it'll, it'll crack itself out wide over here. If you'll let your left arm rotate and fold, which is a lot easier than pulling and chicken winging. The chicken wing, you've heard it. The left arm pulls like this and gets elbow up instead of, watch this, elbow down. You want elbow down, your arm whip slings. It's a great word. Whip sling your left arm and look at how long it is. Look at how far my wrist watch is from my body. But watch when you pull hard, it gets all contracted and chicken winged. Okay, what are the three steps I'd like you to have? First of all, we want you to get long armed here extended. Look where my weight is when I do that. It's on my left leg, it's called your post. But we want long, loose, extended arms here. Okay, so what's step one? Get your back to the target wide. What does that mean, wide arms? Don't get high arms and don't get arms over here behind you. Get them wide, look how far they are from me. Then if they're wide and you make a nice shift of weight, what does that mean? Watch this red line, watch my weight move over to it. I move my weight over there. That is not spin your weight over there, that is just move your weight over there, weight shift. And then as you move over there, your leg will lengthen. Here's our key phrase we're gonna use. Your left leg lengthens and you go into this red thing. So watch my left leg, it's bent. I move my weight over to it, look at it lengthen, and then I come around it. So you come around a lengthening left leg and that'll be your key. So get your back to the target. See how you can see some of my right shoulder maybe right back there? If you don't turn far enough like this, you don't have full power. And I know, ladies, that you can get your back to the target, especially if you let your right hip help you. So let your hips turn and let your shoulders turn and get, and then arms wide. And now what are you gonna do? You're gonna shift. And this is a sequence, it's a great word. It's gonna be weight shift into my feet. That's gonna move my knees. My knees move my thighs. I wish you could really focus on this left thigh. Watch it lengthen and get out of the way right there, that left thigh. And when that happens, your arms will crack out some speed. And you go, why will it crack out? Because you can't stop it. Once that leg lengthens and gets into this red line, the, the famous word is park the car, but get your right knee over to your left knee. It's called kissing your knees. In doing so, when you bring that right knee over there, your left hip is here. So ladies, get your arms long. That's called either flinging it or whip slinging it. The left arm whip slings, the right arm flings, and just get rid of that head down thing so you can go, whew. look at my head come up at the end of this. It's here, watch, after I hit, look where it goes. It goes up, because you're gonna finish tall because you've really swung at it. Give it a shot, ladies. I think you'll love that your arms are looser, freer, and really cracking the whip out there. Good luck to you.